Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CaveCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We are here today to try to crack one of the most mysterious objects on Cape Cod. It's a mystery hundreds of years old. Meet the Born Stone. CaveCast! Judy, the Born Stone is behind us. What's it all about? A mystery. It seems like people look at the lettering or the sort of drawings or etchings on it and come to a bunch of different determinations. What kind of ideas have people had about the Born Stone over the years? It's a rune stone. It's Native American. It's Phoenician. And last year we had someone saying it was Chinese. And we have experts in all of these fields that come, and each expert that comes looks at it and says it's their thing. So it just depends on what you want it to be. You bring that expert in, and that's what it is. Physically describe the Bornstone. What is it? What's on it? It, is a, it was used as a stepping stone at the Native American church. And on it there's... Um, Something that looks like rune stones, but then it could be Phoenician or it could be Chinese or something. And some look like native markings on it, too. So we don't know if two different people put marks on it or if it was one story. Okay, let's get scientific with this uh, exacting tool provided by the good folks at the Jonathan Bourne Historical Center here in Bourne Village. We've got this yardstick going down, so it's at least three feet long. Let's say roughly it's almost four feet long, something like that. And the width seems to vary from, oh, about uh, 15 inches here at this side and gets a little bit thicker as we go through once again using the yardstick. About 16 inches or so. You can see sort of the door step kind of shape to it. And they say it weighs about 300 pounds. Now, Judy, the runestone theory, just so folks know, what would a runestone be and who would be likely to use uh, a runestone? Vikings. The Vikings, they came and they traveled down. In fact, there are stones with similar marks um, on the canyons in Texas. People think maybe some kind of Viking connection. Yes, that is the most popular. You think that's borne out by some of the evidence out there? It's just more of a sort of appealing theory. I think it was the first thought they had, and so... They just hold on to it. But we want the real answer. So we need a real, real good researcher that knows all of these things and can decide which one it really is. How will you know when they're right? We won't. <laughs> Cape Cass. 